Hi everyone, Unboxingalism here and welcome back to my channel. In this short video, I will show you how you can turn off the always on display on your brand new Apple Watch. Doing it is super simple. Press the digital crown once and find the settings app. Then scroll down to the display and brightness. In this menu, when you tap on the always on, there is the sub menu where you can switch the always on display mode off. I switch it off and as you can see my screen only wakes up if I tap on it. I must tell you that I really like the always on display. My first Apple Watch was a Series 4, which doesn't have this feature. This is not a lifesaver thing, but it makes it more comfortable to use. But comfort has its price. There were many situations when my battery was low before the end of the day. In these cases, I always switched off the always on display to save battery. There are a few important things I need to mention. In the always on menu, you can set to hide the sensitive complications. For example, the activity app or the calendar are sensitive complications. If your wrist is on the table, no one can see your sensitive information if you enable this function. You can customize it for every app, which I think is a great addition. You can do the same with the notification. And apps as well. If you are enjoying the video so far, just take a second and click on the subscribe button. It really does help growing my channel. Thank you. I love to share a bonus tip in my videos. In this video I would like to talk about how you can wake the screen up with a wrist race. So if you decide you will switch off the always on display, you can still check the time without touching the screen. Go to the settings, then general, display and brightness and enable the wake on wrist race. You can do these steps on your iPhone as well. Just open the watch app, then display and brightness, and finally always on. That's all I wanted to show you on how to switch off and on the always on display. I hope this short video helped you out and you learned something useful. If you did, please consider giving me a thumbs up and subscribing to my channel. That would be really appreciated and would help my channel grow. Thank you and see you in the next one.